my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 487 in this lecture i will continue my discussion on proximity methods what is the advantage of max approach obviously max is less susceptible to noise and outliers just observe this point it is less susceptible to noise and outliers suppose if i have this cluster this cluster let me say this is my cluster yes this is my first cluster this is my first cluster c1 let me say this is c2 isn't it i have two clusters isn't it and consider this point let me consider this particular point because we are taking the maximum distance that is important here what we are taking we are taking maximum distance just let me assume this is the maximum distance from this cluster c1 let me assume this is the maximum distance from cluster 2 or maximum distance or farthest uh, uh, distance isn't it not the shortest distance um, we have we must take uh, maximum distance or farthest distance from this point to this cluster and from this point to this cluster eventually every point will get clustered that is important every point will get clustered that's uh, eventually every point will get clustered since we are doing that the max approach is less susceptible to the noise and uh, outliers but again E everything else in the world it too has its own limitations what are the limitations we will try to understand we, we limitation of max just observe these two clusters let me assume this is my original points these are the original points let it be isn't it yes yes if, if it has one small cluster this is small cluster and one large cluster this is another large cluster let's look at it from the perspective Ima imagine if i have a cluster already like this if i have a cluster already like this if i have uh, another cluster like this now what i what will we do here look at from the this particular th i have two clusters let me say this is my cluster c1 this is c1 let me say let me say this is cluster c2 look at from the perspective of i will take i will consider one simple point yes i am considering this point which point this point from the perspective of this point what will we do let's look at from the perspective of this point now when i am trying to apply max it will take farthest distance between this point between this point and this cluster and between this point and this one isn't it between now just because uh, this is larger which distance is larger this distance is larger isn't it this distance is more more than this distance isn't it now what happens this is grouped to therefore this point will be grouped to this this cluster isn't it final results will be how how, how you can see the final result just see like this let me say your cluster after applying max approach you will get this one as one cluster this one is another cluster c2 what's happening here it tends to break large clusters actually this is large cluster what if, if you apply max uh, max algorithm what happened this is break tends to break large cluster it's biased towards globular cluster it's it's biased it's biased towards uh, Glo globular cluster isn't it max tends to break large cluster large cluster max also has bias towards globular uh, cluster globular is like globe or spherical it has higher tendency to create spher spherical clusters typically than others but again breaks down large clusters this is one of the limitation limitations of max group average is compromise group average is compromise between compromise between single what is this single single means what 
I can say single means single means min approach. It is min. Single means what? It is min approach. Single and complete. What is the meaning of complete? It max complete link. Complete link means it is max approach. Therefore, group average is compromised between min and max approaches. It is less susceptible to noise and outliers. Again, limitation is biased towards globular globular clusters, isn't it? Group average is compromised between single single and complete link that is min and max approaches hierarchical clustering with group averaging that we saw the group averaging is the compromise between min and max it takes it takes min value it takes minimum and maximum distance and it takes the average that's what it says let me say this is min let me assume this is max and what what will it do it takes average between min and max so it has strength that it is less susceptible to noise that's what it says it says less susceptible to noise but just like max it is biased towards globular clusters there is other method there is other method called words method just see this is words method what it does is it is very similar to group average except that the distance between the points is distance squared distance squared it is it, it, it tries to sort of like sum of squared error this is just like sum of squared error that's what it says just see yes just for what's method distance between see here you are taking square of the distance this just again just like uh, just like uh, other um, the, um, method uh, similar to group average method just where in group average method also we divided with the number of points in c1 into number of points in c2 isn't it it's tries to do sort of like sum of squared error for what's method distance between c1 c2 is sigma dist of pi comma pj whole square by mod c uh, c1 into mod c2 that pi belongs to the, this, this formula we already discussed what is this pi belongs to c1 and pj belongs to c2 here i must mention this one what is this pi belongs to c1 pj belongs to c2 that point is important the, the key difference here is the square distance except that everything else is same between words method and group average method just like group average method it is less susceptible to noise and outliers less susceptible to noise and outliers but it is biased it is biased towards globular uh, biased toward globular clusters so if you think at this nice comparison just see this is here you have one nice comparison if you think at this nice comparison if you apply min these are the clusters if i apply min i will get this particular cluster for min approach isn't it we will if i apply max i will get these clusters if you apply if you apply group average i will get these clusters isn't it if you apply words method if i apply words method i will get these clusters isn't it these are four popular methods very very widely applied methods i would recommend you what what i strongly what i strongly recommend uh, recommend you so, especially for min and max please walk through the examples with the help of a proximity matrix just take one proximity matrix and apply all these these algorithms so that you will you can understand these algorithms with with uh, uh, with clear uh, with clear understanding just go through this uh, lecture if you have any difficulty please keep a comment thank you very much